Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the Prisoner's Dilemma. And this is one specific uh, game um, that's been studied a lot because of what we can kind of garner from it. Now, uh, the the often used values of, of the game are uh, the role player has these utilities and the column player has uh, the flip of them. And uh, we have two strategies, and they correspond to um, either cooperate or defect. And so the idea is it's called the prisoner's dilemma because we have uh, two prisoners and the cops have separated us. Um, and if, they, uh, if the prisoners cooperate with each other, then the cops don't have enough information to send them to prison for a long time, so they both get a utility of three. If, however, one of them cooperates and the other defects, then the defector gets a, a big utility, utility of five, and the one that stayed quiet gets a, um, um, a utility of uh, zero. And um, that's kind of essentially that uh, I'm not giving you up, but you give me up, and then vice versa. But if both prisoners uh, defect, so both um, tell on each other, so to speak, then they, um, uh, then they both go to prison for a long time, not getting a high utility. Okay? Um, as I said, this is the, the particular values of the game that are often used, but a, a general form of the game is that A is equal to R, S, T, and P, and then B is equal to uh, R, T, S, and P with the following um, inequalities. So T is strictly greater than R, strictly greater than P, strictly greater than S, and that 2R is strictly greater than T plus S. Now all these utilities, um, utility values have, have names, so this is called the temptation. And so if you think about it, that's the value that you get tempted with, right? So for example, if we're both at three, the column player is tempted by a value of five, right? So that's the temptation. Um, the reward, this is the reward, and that's just the reward for cooperating so that we both get a, a three. The punishment, right? So this is the punishment here is um, the, the value of, um, being, you know, both of us defecting and, and us being punished. And then finally we got the sucker. And so this is uh, the what happens when the other one takes advantage of you. Um, and so you get a, a value of zero is the one we have here. And so these are our, our this, this set of three inequalities is what defines a prisoner's, uh, one of the inequalities that defines prisoner's dilemma. So the temptation must be the highest possible utility. The reward must be slightly less than that. The punishment um, for must be less than the reward, and finally, the worst possible case is when you cooperate and the other player defects. We also have this um, inequality here, which is that uh, the reward must be less than the average of the temptation and the sucker. Um, now, that kind of brings about, a, these inequalities bring about a, a couple of things, in particular that, in particular, that defection always dominates cooperation. So if we look um, here, defection is the second row, and we indeed have that T is greater than R and P is greater than S. So defection always dominates. And, um, this is just that we have a social dilemma, so that actually both of us cooperating is better for all of us, um, as opposed to if one of us cooperates and we get a T plus an S. And that's the prisoner's dilemma, and what we're going to talk about a little bit is uh, how this gets very interesting when we play an iterated version.